What's up guys and welcome back to Almost Reviews. Today we have another figure from Arc Knights. This time, well, it's again Texas from Penguin Logistics. This is a figure from Good Smile also. One to seven from the Elite Two Portrait. You know in Arc Knights when you get the when you upgrade your operators, you get different arts. This is the Elite Two version. The box is very big, I don't know why. I think the figure is like this size, so like this could be. Well, well let's see what comes inside this box. As usual, we got the my biggest enemy tape. There we go. Good thing it wasn't that sticky tape that usually breaks the box. We got two more tape units here. I think I'm going to break it. Well, guys, I'm really sorry about this. It seems that when I used my S Pen to open the box, I pressed this little button and it paused my video. I have already taken Texas out, but I haven't taken this guy out. I just took off the tape. Well, I'm real annoyed by this. I didn't pay attention up to now that I looked at the Time is not moving. Well, I'm sorry it's not going to be a complete unboxing now. But well, here we have Texas. I didn't look, it has this small gaffet like this card, it looks good. Every other things. I see that some things I have never paid attention to the figure before, like it's got more blades here, it's got a, the backpack here, I don't know. Head is detachable. That's something I noticed when I was thinking it out. For the head sculpt, I really like the hair. I don't see any mist paints here or any problem with anything. And look, the earrings are real earrings. Good. I like the figure. It's too accurate. Something else I took off, it's like the base. Uh, don't do what I just did. Don't grab it from the blades. The, I don't know. They feel so very flimsy. So be careful with this. But, well, the base doesn't have a lot of things. I thought these were going to be like magnetic poles or something for the feet, but no. They're just poles and that's it. So, multiple originium swords. As I told you, I already took the tape off for this one. And, well, this one didn't come with any plastic. Texas came as if it were an android with many, many pieces of plastic. Covering everything, you know, as usual, Android. Head sculpt is not very solid here, so be careful, never grab it from the head. It has with different plastics, I'm sorry about that, I'm really sorry. Oh, look, you can move this one. <laughs> oh, well. For the wolves here, if you don't know, Texas is a lupo, that's a racing arc knights that are basically wolves. They come from Italy. I don't know why wolves come from Italy. And most of them are from the Mafia, like this girl. She used to be a Mafia leader. I'm hoping or more backstory from Texas. What happened be between her and Lapland? I don't know if it's already there in the Lord but Well, for the assembly of this figure, it's going to be pretty straightforward, I think, from what we saw in the instructions. Base here. Originum sword, one hand. I didn't show you these ones because I take them out already. I'm sorry, it doesn't focus because they're transparent. Then Texas here. There we go, one feet. There we go, the other. There we go. So it fits good in the base right now. I don't see that we've got problems with this. And the head. Something for all the figure collectors. If you buy big figures like this, well, it's not that big, but if you buy big figures, be careful where you carry them from. I won't recommend doing what I did. I won't recommend doing it from the head. I don't really recommend if you can do it here. Yeah, you can but i don't recommend it yeah it actually came out a little bit no 
Always carry your figures from the base. Always. <clears throat> my girlfriend once carried one of mine from the head, and that's how I got a broken first four figures. But, well, wasn't that major. But, in general, I like it. It's very accurate, very faithful to the E2 art. Let me move the lamp over a bit. Something that I'm not really sure, it's not convincing me, is the face portrait. The, fa the head sculpt is okay, but not the face. I don't know. I don't know. I, I know it's Texas, but I feel like it's not Texas. Maybe if you play the game or something, you can come with me. I will show you a comparison between the picture or in a moment, but I don't know. Something looks off. Like it's too childish or too round. I don't know. But well, we'll take a look at that in a moment. So this figure is not that big. It can fit perfectly in your Vesta if you have any IKEA furnishings. I have the Kallax, but it looks like it's going to fit perfectly. This figure, 10 inches, 11 inches, I don't know. It may look less from the camera, but from here, it's like 11 inches and a half, uh, 28 centimeters and a half. From bottom of the base to the top. The figure from Texas, nine inches and a half. Then if you go all the way to this ear, but well, as I told you, it's not a very big figure, but it's a very good one. I like it. It's kind of expensive. I think this was $200. So I don't know why PVCs are that expensive when sometimes resins are not. I don't know what the, what's coming up right now. I've seen smaller PVCs, like it's just going to be the figure for uh, like $300 with, I don't know, it's kind of expensive for me. What do you think about it? So I'll show you some close-ups. As for now, I haven't seen any details that are mind-boggling for me, like any detail that I mispaint something off over there, but I will show you the close-ups before we continue, guys. So guys, closing up, the grapple here looks very good. Boots also look very good, I don't know. They don't have anything like I will complain about. If we go like here, I, it looks like a little small mispaint as well as here, but nothing that worrisome that I will complain about. Up to the top, I think it's okay that the strap is broken. And well, here we have her. To the sides, We've got here, this is the Syracusan armband. Like as I told you, she was part of the Mafia before. But other than that, here on the, on the side, I don't see anything. I think this is a small scratch. I don't know if this part of the figure or if I scratch it in any way. But well, from the back, everything looks good. Tail also has some red as well as the hair. This red hair is only part for the E2. It's not coming on the base Texas. As we spin it, well, practically this part of the bulbs is not that, doesn't have a lot of things. It seems that it came from different moldings and they just did some small spray paint to give the shadow effect. But well, this figure, I don't know, it's amazing. I like this figure like on and all. The only thing that's bothering me is this face portrait. I don't know if I mentioned it before, but well, tell me, what do you think? Does it look like an E2 art or it's, the, it's me that it's like, I don't know, thinking other things. So now let's go to the size comparisons and I'll be right back. And well guys, I already showed you the size measurements for this figure. And for her comparisons, I've just got two things. One is herself, <laughs> an Android version. Uh, something that you can see from the Android version to this version is that, that basically she was on a fight or something and is not. An Android version is based on the standard portrait. That's why she has got no red hair or anything. If you look at her art that I saw, 
This one is completely blue and just on the E2 we've got this red here. Something I don't really remember is the color of the Originium blades, if they're yellow or orange or red, I don't know what's this. But as you can see everything comes basically the same. Strap, 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 the B-shaped, but these ones are very good. Doesn't come with the armband, neither with the Syracusa armband that she comes. I don't know, I haven't paid a lot of attention to the E2 art compared to this one. So I don't know if this comes with that one. And I just noticed, yeah, it comes with her name tag here also. <laughs> and the other one is 127 Amiga from Emon Toys. But now that I have them side to side, from the camera, it's not bothering me a lot, but in person, it does. Like, let's take her out. Let me show you. Maybe like this, without the bases, it's going to be clearer what I'm complaining about. Like, is Amiga this is small compared to, to uh, Texas? I don't think Texas is that tall or big. I don't know the... The size of the heads and everything looks like too disproportionate for me. Look at the shoes. I mean, I don't know if you can look at them good. These are very big and these are like small. But I don't know if that's because, I mean, Amija is a rabbit. This was this is a wolf, but it's kind of bothering me right, right now. I don't know if someone of you has like, more understanding about Arc about their sizes, but I don't believe that Amiya is this, maybe, I mean, she's a child, so it's probable, but the feet, I don't think it's okay. So if we take the measurement, it's almost like two inches from the top of the head to the top of the head to, or from Texas. And in one to seven, I don't know what's the conversion to that, but maybe it's two inches per seven, 14 inches in centimeters is like 30 centimeters. So Amiga will be like, I have my computer here right now. Give me a second. 142 centimeters, 161. So it should be a 20 centimeter difference in their sizes. I don't know if these heights that I've seen from the game press on my computer are all right, but also I don't know if they take into account the ears, but either way, Amiya should be like smaller if they take into account the ears. If not, 14 inches, two centimeters in the measure tape is like 35 centimeters. So I don't know if these are 35, but either way, she is 140 and 160 centimeters. So we have, we've got a small margin of 10 centimeters, but that's a lot if you're talking to a person or something. So some of these guys, either Good Smile or either Emon Toys, messed it up with their measurements. I don't know, it was bothering me. But well, this marks the end of our video, guys. In general, if you like our nights and if you like Texas as much as I do, don't, don't doubt it. Get this figure, ask questions later. And tell me, in the comments, please like and subscribe. But first tell me, what is your favorite Arc Knights operator? If, if it's Texas also, or tell me what's your favorite Vanguard in this game. So guys, see you up in the next video and thank you for watching guys.